The best way to reproduce Leonardo's sfumato is to use a similar technique to his. Now that the main areas of colour are in place, I simply have to work with the glaze to bring out the model and details. It won't be much use without colour. It won't be much use without colour. It's all right like that, though perhaps I need to change the colour a little. Perfect. I finally succeeded. I think it'll be difficult to tell the difference between them. So you've done it. You've found the notebook. Hector, is it you? Yes, it is. You merge well with the darkness of the passage. I might have mistaken you for one of the men outside. I'm not here to be noticed, sir. I assume you have contacted me because you have the Codex and know a little more about who is behind this plot. Yes, I found the notebook. Here it is. Put it in a safe place. It's far more precious than we thought. As for the investigators of the plot, I still don't know who they are, but I do know that they intended to steal the Mona Lisa left here by the King from the chapel. Is it still there? No, but don't worry. I have a plan to stop them. I'll replace the painting they intended to steal with a fake. An ingenious idea. The King told me that you'd help me to escape. Have you got a plan? No, not yet, unfortunately. I thought we could leave by the underground passage, but I was followed on arriving and had to set off a landslide to prevent them from catching me. We'll find another way to get you out of here. Where have you been? As curious as ever. I had things to do, that's all. I've done it. Thanks to your indications, I've found Leonardo's notebook. Very well. Then you must not stay here any longer. I thought of using the flying machine. That's a good idea, but I'm afraid it's damaged. You should be able to repair the broken wing with this. Thank you. It's nothing, Valdo. I know that it would have pleased Leonardo to see a handsome young man sit astride his invention and fly away with it. But be careful. I won't let you escape so that you can sell the Codex to the first bidder. I've known men like you. Half honest, half thief. The greatest and worst of them was called Saleh, and he left the boat just before it sank. It was the 1st of May, 1519. Leonardo died the day after, a little over 300 years ago. When his disciple had left the room, Leonardo took advantage of his absence to entrust me, his valet, with his greatest secret. I haven't any more time to lose. I'm going to die soon, but I must do one last thing. I have hidden a manuscript of the utmost importance in the manor. It gives the descriptions of the science practiced in classical times by Archimedes, Hero, and others. These writings are precious and have been kept secret so that they do not fall into the hands of the many fanatics that have so often attempted to silence science. One day, I hope, Someone will be worthy enough to find them, protect them, and hand them on so that they will never be lost. That is why I have left behind me many clues and enigmas that only someone who has succeeded in learning from Francesco and the King of France can understand. 
However, neither of them knows about it. It is to you, my loyal valet, that I entrust this secret, along with the last clue that leads to the Codex. It's fascinating. How could he have got hold of such a treasure? It's not important. Now you understand the importance of your mission, your inheritance. It's now up to you to protect the notebook and the secrets it contains. I would like to, but it's Hector who has it. Francois I asked me to entrust it to him. It's out of the question to let him have it. You cannot refuse your role. Even the king has no word to say in this. No matter what the cost, you must recover it. I shall look after informing His Majesty. Thanks again, Saturnin. I would never have succeeded without you. I certainly wouldn't contradict you, young man. Let's go now. As soon as you've spotted it, I'll mount the flying machine on the gangway. It's the only place from which you can take off. I almost forgot. We need something to hide your flight. Such as a smoke screen? You've got one. That's perfect. Give it to me and I'll take care of it. Good luck, Valdo. I've got to pierce it first if I want to fix it. It doesn't need much to make it work. I've got to pierce it first if I want to fix it. It's no use, I've...
I risk breaking everything with this drill bit. I risk break. Perfect. This time it appears to be complete. It remains to be seen if it can fly. But where did Hector go? He was supposed to help me to escape and now he's disappeared. Strange. I hope he hasn't run off with the manuscript. I have to get it back whatever the cost. I'll say farewell to Babu later. I still have things to do. Hey, what's happening? It must be Hector. Unfortunately, he'll never give me the manuscript without being ordered to by the king. I don't have any choice. I'll have to take it back by force. Perfect. If I can advance without making a noise, I should be able to knock him out and recover the manuscript. Oh! There. That's it at last. I've made Francesco my main heir. However, it is to you, a person I don't know, that I leave my most precious treasure. It was given to me by my master Verrocchio, who was given it by his own master. This manuscript has been passed down through history, since classical times, to you. Compiled by Hypatia of Alexandria, a mathematician and philosopher, these pages are all that survive from the thousands that constituted the wealth of the great library of Alexandria. Naturally, they have been a wonderful source of inspiration, though what I discovered went far beyond my wildest dreams. This manuscript contains the secret hiding place of the most precious treasure of all, men and women who were able to foresee the wars of classical times put the most valuable items of the Museum of Alexandria in a safe place. And now it is on you that the duty of protecting them befalls.
Babu, it's done. It's time for me to go. I'm happy that you've managed to escape the guards. I still haven't succeeded yet. I still have to leave the manor. I know, but you've managed so well up to now. There's no reason why you shouldn't avoid them one more time. I hope you're right. What about Leonardo's manuscript? Have you found it? You're incorrigible. Still as curious as ever. I understand, Valdo. Don't say anything. Take your secret with you. You couldn't have said it better, my dear. I hope you don't feel too badly towards me for having put you in such danger. I never wanted to. It's forgotten. Thank you, Valdo. But please, I've one last favor to ask of you. I'm listening. Take me with you. But, Babu, it's too dangerous. I'm not even sure that Leonardo's flying machine can really fly. Anyway, your place is here. I'm prepared to take the risk. That's not the question, Valdo. I just want to know whether you want me to come with you. With pleasure. Hurry, Babu. There's no time to lose. Saturnin is a man worthy of trust. The machine is there, just as he promised. Now we have to find out if it works. Unfortunately, you won't have the opportunity to know. Hector, what are you doing here? I've come to recover the manuscript that you dared to steal. Hold on, you don't understand. If the king knew what this notebook contained, he wouldn't prevent me from leaving with it. I'm sure you're right, but he doesn't know, and it is with me that you must deal. I obey no man, not even the king. I knew that this adventure would be highly profitable. One of the most famous paintings in the world, and the heretical manuscript hidden by Leonardo. I'm in the process of pulling off one of the best subterfuges of my life. And it's all down to you, Valdo, and the short-sightedness of Francois I, who took me for his confidant. You have no idea what you're doing, Hector. I'm sure it isn't you who's responsible for such a stratagem. Do you really believe that those behind all this would allow you to leave just like that, in perfect health and with all these treasures? Don't try to frighten me, Valdo. I was able to trick the King of France. Nobody can stop me now. Those who wish to recover the manuscript will simply have to pay the price. You're too naive. They'll never let you live. You know too much. You're mistaken. It's you who are going to die. I had to hear him to believe it. Hector, a traitor. Here we are. All right. That is, until someone else comes along. Valdo? It's time for you to go and put the manuscript somewhere safe. You're worthy of the trust I placed in you, and of Leonardo's heritage. I see that you've also won Babu's heart. Take care of her, Valdo, and farewell. <laughs>